My name is Moritz Novak. I'm working at VIB and uh, UGent uh, in the joint affiliation. So I'm a professor at Ghent University and a group leader in the VIB, uh, uh, more specifically in the plant systems biology department. And uh, I'm uh, heading a team of around 10 researchers uh, who's uh, interested in elucidating the mechanisms of programmed cell death in plant development. I'm Nicola Doll. I'm a postdoc in Moritz Novak's group and I'm working on endosperm cell death uh, in Arabidopsis and maize. So what really convinced me in joining this program was uh, that, yeah, first of all, um, I'm generally very curious about uh, research in different countries. And in this particular case, uh, um, yeah, also discussing with people in the lab, like Nico, we were curious about the research that is being done in uh, countries in Africa. One other motivation was that we felt like uh, we wanted to uh, share the, the knowledge and the technologies that we have at our disposal here uh, in Europe uh, with countries that have less capability to do research. Another reason was to um, have a chance to establish uh, collaborations uh, within Africa so that uh, although our research is essentially fundamental, we may have uh, opportunities to, um, to apply uh, our research in agriculture, for instance, in Africa. Joining the program was really straightforward for us. So, um, uh, upon this, uh, the general call by IPBO, we just uh, signaled our general interest. So, I asked in the lab if there would be interest and if there would be people who wanted to guide um, uh, a visiting scientist in the Open Doors Fellowship program. Uh, and once this was clear, we were then involved uh, in the interviews and then in the end only had to agree to the final decision of the candidate uh, and this was very straightforward, very easy to do. My recommendation for anyone who's hesitating to uh, join in the Open Doors Fellowship Program as a PI, don't. It's a really great program and it's really fun and uh, it's really a, um, yeah, an asset for the lab to participate. With the fellow we organized the work such that every morning we had a small meeting to discuss the experiment of the day and then uh, uh, she, uh, she was involved in the experiment and mostly doing the experiment and I was supervising. Yemi was a, a great help um, in the lab, so uh, it took me a bit of time to uh, taught her the different experiments and also to organize uh, and to plan the experiments. But then uh, she provided a great help and she had a, uh, a lot of experience in the lab, so she performed very good experiments and we have very positive results. Having a fellow uh, brought new perspective to the group because uh, uh, she has uh, different interests, different scientific topics and different backgrounds. So it was beneficial, I think, to see uh, other kind of research. And also uh, she uh, has a strong motivation to learn techniques and uh, to interact with people. So she really brought uh, a good dynamic in the lab. The way forward now is that uh, we have some initial results that look very promising and based on this uh, we want to uh, uh, work together on a, a research a collaboration program uh, that we then hand in for, uh, to funding bodies uh, to get um, a jointly uh, funded project going um, on, on cell death in cereals.